Hey, we're the main, <laughs> and you're watching Front Row Live Entertainment. Hey guys, Rob here once again. Today I'm hanging out with the main. How's it going, guys? Doing well. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. It's chilly out there. It is, man. Once that sun goes down, it sneaks up on you. <laughs> so this is day three of uh, the beginning of the Pioneer Tour, correct? Correct. Um, how's, how's the first two shows been? It's been awesome, man. It's been great. The reaction's been awesome from uh, kids, especially because they don't know songs. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. We're surprised that people even showed up because they knew what they were getting into when they bought the tickets. So <laughs> um, it's awesome, though, man. It's it's cool to, uh, like we were saying, it's uh, it's cool to kind of get a gauge of, of how they're feeling about individual tracks when they're looking at you. And yeah, it's been it's been great, man. How's the reception been so far with the new music? Kids are seeming to like it. I mean, uh, we posted a couple songs up online, and uh, so they know a lot of those. But um, those have been getting good response. Uh, it's been a lot of just uh, like nodding of heads while they're listening <laughs> to some of the other songs, which is great, man. It's it's it's, of, it's kind of like playing. You know, a lot of the people that come are are, are younger, but it's almost like they're going to see. You know, it's like they're. they're they're more mature for for at least that chunk of time you know what i mean and they're uh, really being respectful and, and kind of taking it all in so so for these three shows or is it going to be for the whole tour it's only you guys right now right Correct. so yeah. so what are we expecting for the for these shows um it'll be the the new album front to back and then uh we made like a, a goofy little video about kind of the history of our band poking fun at ourselves and uh and then we come back out and we play um eight i think or eight or nine eight or nine of uh songs that we felt like people wanted, wanted to hear yeah so it's uh i think it's a good balance and and it'll be interesting to see how people start reacting once uh once, once the record actually out. drops so cool uh coming in here i saw your vans all you know filled up with signatures and everything yeah, yeah. do you guys normally do that with your fans is that is that like you go to a, a show for the main and you're expected to do that or i think it just kind of turned into that yeah it started a couple years ago uh basically we could we had some girl write her name and number on the side of the van and then we couldn't get it off and then it just was a domino effect from there and we just kind of embraced it it I turned guess, after it, a little it, bit. it turned from us being pissed off to kind of just <laughs> accepting the fact and, and uh and letting them do it as long as they don't do it on the trailer because that's not ours yeah. but i mean it's i think it's kind of cool you know they, yeah. they they tag it with you know the place they're from or or their their name and i think it's a it's kind of a fun fun poster to sign yeah. <laughs> kind of it actually looked kind of cool like yeah. looking at it I, we definitely get a lot of a, a lot of weird looks from people on the road which is fun so <laughs> so earlier this year when you were talking about pioneer um you had mentioned this record is not something that your fans would be expecting so what are, what do you guys think that your fans would have been expecting um probably i, I mean I, I think they would want a lot of pop songs um and i i just i mean there are I, these these are pop songs i mean that's kind of what we write we write pop music but we really tried to dress this whole album up as a as a rock record and um disguise those pop songs uh, you know with a undertone of rock so it's very very rock and roll driven um a lot of a lot of guitar work um and just, I, I think... Yeah, I think it's a little more guitar-heavy than people yeah, yeah. would have thought would it would be. It. Yeah, we, we just felt like we're trying to be a band, you know, and uh, a lot of bands have guitars in them, <laughs> and we wanted to showcase that, so... And for this record, you guys took a different route and actually self-produced it. Um, how was that experience like? It was awesome. Awesome. It was... Uh, the creative freedom we had was very liberating we haven't felt that in a long long time um you know before we just wanted to get away from from too many cooks in the kitchen and and kind of wanted to branch out and do something on our own um we had the freedom to do anything we wanted so we went a little crazy at points but uh we did 27 songs in total and kind of cut that down to 13 um i think it allowed us allowed us to just go in any direction we s felt like going in mm -hmm. so and that was that helped you know uh sculpt the album yeah 
Now, usually, I've noticed a, a lot of like the bigger the bigger bands that have been around for a long time are taking you know these steps. But did you guys uh, were you guys worried when saying like, okay, we're, we don't care what the label thinks, we don't care what these people think, we're doing it on our own? Did you guys get worried that something might go wrong or they might not allow it? Came about was um, a little less like. Um uh, we didn't have much expectations from it. I think uh, it, when we ta- started talking about recording the record ourselves, it was just an idea. You know, it was like, hey, let's let's just do it. No pressure. You know, no one no one was knew we were recording it, so it was. I think uh, like you know, um, there just wasn't any 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 pressures with that. We were able to kind of do whatever. Okay. I think as far as far as as the worries are concerned. I, once we really dove into the project and we really kind of decided that, that was the route we wanted to take, I think um, there was definitely, I mean, we were just afraid that it wasn't going to come out. Um, yeah, I think we were angry, very angry. Um, and I think we used kind of some of that anger to fuel the whole project. And and really, we wanted to make it known that we, we were serious. Yeah. And, and, you know, we were serious about everything that we had talked about and so it's kind of you know it i i I just i don't want to harp on on the label because anybody that was working with us for black and white is no longer Mm -hmm. at the label so it's not we're not trying to rip on on warner brothers um but it was kind of a december 6th will be like a kind of i told you so to them yeah so um a lot of different emotions fueled this this <laughs> this record. Yeah. Uh, last year, um, for or for Black and White, you guys did the twenty four hour uh, yeah. streaming. Yeah. What are you are you guys gonna top it this year? What what's no. the plan? We're not doing that again. No, we, we actually learned a lesson from. We did. That. We did. We learned not to stay up for twenty four hours <laughs> and then play shows and do acoustic sets and stuff. Um, that was a lot of fun, but I think for this one we're doing. <clears throat> We're going to be in Brazil, um, and so I, I think we'll kind of be cut off from everybody else in the world, but... Uh, You'll be on vacation. You're not going on tour, right? Yeah. Like, well, we're playing shows. We're playing... That's what they want us to think. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to be on the beach, yeah. <laughs> sipping Coronas. But uh, yeah, I think we're doing like a stick ham, th- like live feed or something like that. Um, and I think we're kind of taking over stick ham. Yeah, for- stick ham's doing some cool stuff uh, promoting the album, so it'll be cool. Cool. It's not gonna. It's not gonna top twenty four hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're when you first started the band, you had no experience writing. You had no experience singing. So how do you feel now? Like, wh- what has it been? Four years. How do you feel now when it comes to writing or when it, when it comes to performing? Do you feel like you've you've learned so much already? Or yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, that's that's life. You know, learning from from everything. But uh, yeah, I, there's you know, hopefully we're a band for a lot longer so we can continue to push ourselves and i don't think we're ever we're ever content with uh where we're at you know so as far as uh songwriting goes i'm i'm writing songs every day and trying to trying to really take things places i haven't been before so it's a uh, it's an interesting interesting life we lead have you guys been collaborating on writing or is it mainly you writing this process um for pioneer we incorporated a lot of us in uh, the writing process and i think we i I kind of took it um step by step and and would take my ideas kind of directly to the guys when when they came so um some stuff we wrote together some stuff i wrote and then took it to them um but yeah it it was definitely a group effort by the end of it it's all it's all a group process and I, i think um yeah, whether or not uh, he has a significant uh, part of the song, yeah, or or um, just throwing out ideas. Songs come out. Yeah. On <laughs> um, this tour that you guys are, are about to embark on, um, I notice after this you guys are going to Brazil, then coming back to the East Coast. Yeah. And then you're going, I want to say, the UK. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I didn't see too many West Coast uh, dates. Are you guys going to be coming back? to hit that section or what the what the thought process was was um we would hopefully hit up every uh, you know all the major markets and, and places we haven't been in a long time uh in the spring after we get back home from europe so 
Um, I think what we wanted to do is just kind of really limit the amount of shows that we were we were playing on this run, mm -hmm. and um, you know really put everything into the fifteen or or some odd shows that we're we're putting on. Yeah. So, but yeah, when we go back out in the spring, I mean, I don't know who it's going to be with or, or what we're going to be doing, but hopefully we'll be hitting up kind of the whole the whole thing so touching a lot of places we haven't been in a while you yes. know in a lot of spots they haven't been touched yeah so <laughs> what was it like being on tour taking back sunday i know it's one of your first concerts you yeah, you went yeah. to yeah it was uh it was a trip was man <laughs> it was a trip yeah they, uh, they were awesome guys and they i mean they were awesome right off the bat the first day they were great and and it's not not bad here in their set every night yeah, because yeah. i'm in Same love with point. that band yeah, so yeah, it was it was uh it took about a week and a half to really let it all sink in and not kind of trip before like in front of them, you know, and uh fanboy out. But uh Did you guys at all make that happen? I mean, once once people started having drinks and then the stories yeah, start coming out and like you know, like kind of dude, I love you, man. And <laughs> love your band, dude. But uh they were so awesome, so nice, so relaxed. Um we would I mean, we would just set up our chairs and just kind of rap about uh, you know whatever so yeah. very very fortunate that they took us out and bad rabbits as well was really awesome. they, they're great people great so. musicians and mm -hmm. awesome dudes it was a, su a success to say the least yeah uh your current single some days uh you released the lyric video would you guys be releasing a music video before yeah, the end of the year uh, we're actually shooting a video this weekend for a song uh called misery and uh, we're kind of trying to spread the love uh, and not really focus on one track too hard. Mm. Um, we're just so proud of the album as a whole that we feel like the attention needs to be spread across the board. So, um, you know, normally when we do like acoustic performances and stuff, there's usually like the standard, like you have to play that yeah. one song. But, you know, we, we played a different one today um, and we're just kind of trying to, to spread it out. But to answer your question, we are doing a... A video for some days as well it's going to be more low-key uh, we our, our manager has an office in, in phoenix that's really cool he mm -hmm. built like a half pipe in the backyard and yeah. stuff so i think what we're going to do is shoot like a just kind of a bros bros chilling video yeah uh, pro skaters appearing yeah yeah <laughs> we can't i can't skateboard worth a, <laughs> worth a damn but He's pretty just good. Sit on it and ride down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dangerous, man. Ride it's dangerous. Back and forth just a little bit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what else do you guys have planned out for, for you this holiday season? Um, we're gonna be home. This is like you said, the last show um, for about two weeks, and we're gonna be home for Thanksgiving for the first time in three years, which is pretty awesome. Um, then the tour goes up until December 21st, and so then Christmas and the holidays roll around. We'll be at home for those. Play a show in Arizona on the 6th of January, and then go to the UK, and that's all we have planned. We're expecting a lot of uh, the main for 2012? Hey, we hope. We hope, man. We're, uh, we're trying to keep busy, so <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, you know. Metallica takes us out on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they're watching. You never know. You never know. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. I can't wait for the new record. Thank you so much. So, and you guys, uh, be sure to check them out on tour. Um, and record drops December 6th. We are the main.net, correct? Correct, correct. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe to Front Row Live, and we'll see you guys again soon.